small he's like to sit right here but what i did is i took one of the only jerk baits that i fished it's a mega bass vision 110 plus one the color is table rock sp and you're gonna notice that it does have that purple and chartreuse on it now i'm gonna have to tell you guys more about the bait when i bring it in and tell you about the tungsten balancing system and everything and why i like this bait so much uh, I don't know if I'm going to catch anything. I mean, I am trying to catch a big smallmouth, big largemouth, or even a big pike. But, see that bait? You hear that noise? You hear that loud knock? Well, that's that tungsten balancing system. And what that does is on that cast, the weights that are in the bait, they shift on that cast. And they give you that further cast that it talks about on the back of the package. Now, you do have the Outbarb Katsug hooks. I don't even change those. I just fish them right out of the package. I don't really have a problem with them. Now, this water is a little bit darker than it was yesterday, even though it looks pretty clear. That is why I switched up to the Table Rock SP. And I do like to fish this with a medium power fast action or even the medium extra fast Mega Bass Levante that I used to use for these. Now, some people will say, oh, well, it's essentially a crankbait. You do have that deeper build. You need a medium moderate. Well, a medium moderate is great and it's an amazing crankbait rod, but I have lost fish with a jerkbait on a moderate. Um, I like that fast or that extra fast tip. I find that I don't lose a lot of fish. And casting is a great thing to use for a jerk bait or any moving bait. But I'm gonna tell you what, if you wanna try something cool, take eight pound fluorocarbon, this is Sunline Sniper, put it on a spinning rod and fish that jerk bait and just try it. Cause I, I really think you're gonna like it. Now right now I'm fishing it a little bit faster than I need to. But some other things I can tell you about this bait is it is not only a cold water killer, but it works all year round. I've caught fish on Lake St. Clair and the Great Lakes when it's 80 and 90 degrees outside on this bait, okay? Now, you'll notice that the action that I get on this bait is a little bit different than your traditional jerk bait action or retrieve, whatever you wanna call it. You'll see a lot of people go like this with their bait caster, with their casting, okay? And with their spinning. And that's great, that's fine. I hope you can hear me because of this wind. That's another reason why I'm fishing this bait. But I like to do it a little different, okay? Did you see that? I kind of do a diagonal upward jerk. Now, I've had people in person kind of like laugh and look at me like, oh, that's crazy. Why would you do that? That smokes fish. I can't even tell you how, it was a couple years ago. I can't even tell you how many three and four pound smallies we caught in just a matter, matter excuse me, of a couple hours just by going like this. Rip, rip, pause, rip, rip, pause. Now, the colder it is, the longer I will pause this jerk bait. Now, this is one of my favorite lures of all time. I mean, I understand it is what? 20 25 30 dollars there's the fish right there but it is worth the money now i do have it paired up in a six foot ten medium power fast action corrado like i said it's eight pound sunline sniper uh eight pound fluorocarbon and it is a shimano stratic 3000 size fa now a lot of people ask me why do i like that 3000 size that's because you're going to be able to put more line on it okay now if you want to you can fish it braided fluorocarbon but try straight fluorocarbon I understand braid's very sensitive. I understand it casts very far. I'm well aware. I like braid for certain things, but try fluorocarbon. I really think you'll enjoy it. Now, about that retrieve, too. Like, sometimes when I'm doing these videos where I talk about a bait or how I like to fish it, I'll fish it too fast because I'm talking, but when the water's back in the 40s like it is and I think they're going to hit a moving bait, what I'll do is I'll reel up the slack, give it two jerks, and I'll wait a little bit. And I'll do that whether it's one or two or real up slack, three, stop. Whatever it is, I'll find what they want. I'll find the action. Like they always say, the, let the fish tell you what they want. Well, that isn't true, especially with the jerk ring. I'll find that. And then once I find that, I'll kind of stay keyed in on that, okay? Now, like I said, I, I, I can't guarantee that I'm going to catch a fish that, you know, but... It is a north wind today. I mean, sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't, but just kind of wanted to tell you guys about one of my favorite ways to catch a bass and one of the most effective ways to catch a bass. I mean, it's an amazing smallmouth bait, but it does also work for walleye, pike, largemouth, uh, panfish, you name it. Something else I want to show you guys, cast it out there. Now you're going to notice part of the action and part of the retrieve on the reel is, is because of the way I hold the spinning rod. No, you're probably saying, what do you mean? And I hope you can see this. You see how you have the, what is that thing called? The reel seat and you have your reel. So you have your hand. Now I've tried it like this, tried it like this, tried it like this. If I take two fingers on the bottom, two on the top and I hold it like this, 
I do a firm grip, but not too tight of a grip. And that firm grip is because when a fish hits it, he's gonna truck it. I mean, just kapow, or he's gonna swipe at it. You'll get a lot of fish that aren't hooked in the mouth. They're hooked in the body, especially smallies. That's because of the way they hit it. Okay, now what I like to do, like I said, the way I hold it, when the index finger is here and the thumb is here, you'll watch on that retrieve what my hand does, okay? See that? My body is not moving. Again, I'm doing that a little bit too fast, but this is just for demonstration purposes. If you try that, you will have better success with that jerk bait. And if you're watching this video and you're like, oh, well that's cool, you didn't catch nothing, go back through the videos. Go go look at the smallie videos. The, these baits just, these are, these are some of the craziest baits I've ever used. Take it out on Lake St. Clair. Throw when it's 80 degrees. Start pulling up three pounders, sometimes bigger fish. Here, here's what I'll do. Reel this in. We've had enough of the talking. No, I know if you look at the water, like it's a little bit darker than it has been. That's why I picked Table Rock SP because it's got purple in it, it's got chartreuse, and it does have a little orange on the bottom. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a couple other colors that I really like, and, if you, and like I said, if you check into those videos, you will see that these are the colors that I fish with. So you got that Table Rock SP, and by the way, the color that won the Bassmaster Classic, I got three of those at home, but anyway. And yes, they catch, they catch fish. See that, that is GP Pro Perch. I had this tied on, but I'm afraid a pike is gonna bite it off. But that, that's a great bait, okay? That'll catch a lot of small ones. Now something for you guys out there that like white bass and crappie, do you see that black and silver? You see that minnow color, that flash? That is gonna absolutely drive the fish crazy. And is this the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, it is. This one's all torn up from fish, actually. I forgot all about that. And you know what, I'm gonna take this. This, this might be my thumbnail. I don't know, one of these will. But anyway, like I said, GP Pro Perch. This one I can't remember. The Table Rock SP is my all-time favorite. And then a regular Vision 110, okay? GP Stain Reaction. You see how cut up that is? This caught so many three-pounders. I've had this one for over three years. Yeah, they're expensive. No, they are not a gimmick. They are worth the money. Um, the action on these baits has been copied by other companies. Now, are there times when a jerk bait is a jerk bait? Yes. Are there times when it doesn't matter? Yes. But like I said, I can't even tell you how many times I've caught <laughs> big smallies and they just truck that bait. Wham, and they run with it. This right here is one of the best ways to catch fish, not only here up north, but in other parts of the Midwest. Here, here, here's, here's what I can show you. Okay. Get that bait close. Where is it? Did you see that? I gotta show you that again. Watch when I give it a rip. Like I tell you guys, when you give it a rip, that was that was bad. Anyway, you see that? When you give it a rip like that, I've explained this in videos before, that bait is going to be hunting, okay? Now, this is going to look really stupid, but that bait is going to go... That's a suspending jerk bait, okay? Now, I know a lot of people would consider this a deep diving jerk bait, and so would I, but, I, but I, what, what, what is it? uh six to ten feet well if you use eight pound fluorocarbon you're gonna get this bait to for sure ten feet sometimes deeper as with anything else the lighter the line the deeper you're gonna get the bait to go now there's times where i'll put on 16 or 18 fluorocarbon because i don't want it to go as deep or excuse me or a monofilament that's more of what i meant but anyway that should be a good thumbnail but look again i want to show you right here this might seem boring, but watch my wrist. See that pop? Oops. <laughs> oh, nobody's perfect. Here, go back out there. Get it down there. See that pop? See that? That hunt? Those fish cannot stand that. So when you're out there and you do that, or you're working that bait like that, or you got your bait caster, and you're going like that, with a little bit of slack in the line. See, I don't always keep the line tight. A lot of people think you got to keep that line tight. No. For the first couple rips, the line will be tight, and then there's a little slack in it. Well, if you work that with that slack in it, it's going to give it the maximum action, especially paired up with that 8 or 10-pound test fluorocarbon. I hope you guys found something 
uh, got something out of this video or found this interesting because you can do the research on this bait. This is completely the truth, and I think it's going to help you catch more fish. See that? That's a deadly bait. Seriously, try this out.